They came in their hundreds, policemen who used to work for the ruling Baath Party, who now want to help restore law and order in the capital. Iraq's US administrators asked the men to abandon their uniforms, but crucially they would be issued with pistols. Until now, Baghdad's policemen had been trying to guard buildings and stop the looting, but without weapons. That's all about to change with US-led joint patrols starting almost immediately. This will be followed by a training program focusing on human rights, public safety and weapon safety. Uh, our next phase, we, we, we will conduct uh, joint patrols with my military police and the Iraqi police, and then later we will determine what the training needs are. But our, our sole function is to stand up the Iraqi police force just as soon as possible. One of their first tasks was getting traffic police back onto the busy roads of Baghdad. 200 miles further south, some low-key joint patrols have already begun with the British troops in Basra province. These former policemen have also swapped their uniforms for white shirts and a distinctive red armband. However, in these initial stages, they're not permitted to carry weapons until people get used to seeing them on the streets again. Right there.